Hi! Thank you so much for tuning in to your Written in the Stars Taroscope for December. I'm really glad you decided to join me. I'm Madeline, if we haven't met before, and if you're returning, thank you so much. I really hope that you enjoy your reading for the month and that it guides and serves you very well. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little different this month. I will be doing your, your December Taroscope as usual, but I'll be adding a second spread at the end called my Fiercely Focused Spread, which is going to give you a really overarching theme for your month, as well as some really specific action steps for things you can do when it comes to the mental, physical, financial, emotional, and creative aspects of your life in December. So I hope that you'll enjoy that. Um, happy Holidays! I'm really looking forward to them myself. I don't know if you can tell, I'm pretty excited about the holidays. Um, and if you will stay tuned to the end, I do have a special holiday message for you from a bit of a guest star. So stay tuned and find out what's up with that. And if you like your reading, I hope that you will like it and subscribe and let me know what you felt in the comments because I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much. And without further ado, on to your December Taroscope. Hey, Gemini. Thanks again for tuning in for your December 20, woo, 2016 Terroscope. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different this month. Um, so at the end of this overview reading of your month, I'm going to do my fiercely focused spread, which is a, which is a, a spread that gets a little more in depth with some action steps about what you can do. Um, in your life, in the physical, mental, emotional, and um, creative realms. So if you'll stick around to the end, you're going to get some good stuff. But first, let us see what's ahead for you generally in the month of December in 2016. Gemini, December 2016. Gemini. December 2016. Okay. Okay, Gemini. Okay. Well, that's you, Gemini. That is definitely you. Spirit comes right at the gate. <laughs> king of Swords, whether you're male or female. Um, you are the King of Swords, the King of the Mental Realm. Let's see first. What else we got in store for you in December? Mm hmm. Looks nice. Okay. okay. Alright, Gemma, just gonna make sure you can see everybody at your party. It's coming in December. Okay. So what Spirit wants you to do in December, one of the very first and most important things, is get super strategic, Gemini. Um, be the King of Swords. The King of Swords is the king of the mental realm. Um, I mean, there's kind of no getting around the imagery of him holding this lady's cut off head. Uh, the King of Swords can be that brutally honest to where he cuts to the quick, cuts to the bone, um, but he also cuts through the crap, and he's extremely intelligent and incisive, and he can really put quite a proposal together, and Spirit used that word very specifically, so some of you are putting like um, proposals, pitches, portfolios, all those really important P words, you're putting those together. Somebody is going to be looking at you, um, or you want to be looked at um, and seen as a leader, or get chosen for this other position or this higher place. And there's an opportunity for that if you're willing, again, to get really strategic and really intelligent about it and really use your head, um, especially when it comes to, like, above your heart or above, you know, your stomach. It's like, guy, I really would love to go and just, like, chill in front of Netflix with some hot cocoa right now because it's cold outside. Or I could put two hours of work in on this side hustle thing that I'm doing and that will yield me great results. Or I can put that into research for my job because I want to take a class or I want to do um, some time um, for personal development so that I can rise up in the ranks. Um, but if you're willing to do that, you can have some, you can yield some really great rewards. And 
it's it's really like you're at a point in your life, Gemini, where you're kind of like, okay, it's do or die. Like, what do I want, and what am I willing to do for it? You're you're ready to make a big pivot and make a big choice and step forward. And it's kind of like, it's not now or never, Gemini, but it is kind of do or die. Like, like stagnation is a thing. Like, don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. Um, some things you need to walk away from and give up so that you can move forward more powerfully. So I feel like you're going to be putting some things to like to an end in December in order to clear your way and bring in more and better things. And part of that is going to come along with, I feel like you're going to have a little bit of a conflict, um, confrontation, I feel like a, like a little, a little bit of drama. Um, I don't feel like this is catastrophic whatsoever, but I feel like somebody is going to, um, whew, like, is this you or someone else, Gemini? Like, um, do you have a tendency to put your foot in your mouth? Do you have a tendency to be so honest that you put other people off or like you don't wait for the right time um, to give a message? You kind of just blurt out what you're thinking? Or is there somebody around you who tends to do that to the point that it like bothers you or hurts feelings? Because I feel like there is somebody that there's going to be conflict in this regard and you are either going to be the accuser or the, huh, um, the accusee? What, what, what do I mean by that? Um, you're either going to be the accuser or the one getting accused of being like, too sharp and too honest and just kind of like um childish that's what i'm hearing like immature um so either like eh. mm. just think about what you say before you say it the same way that they started here and said like think with think with your head be smart be the king of swords be mature don't be the page of swords be the king of swords and if you encounter the page of swords be the king of swords be the be the bigger man like, even though you know you're more intelligent, you have, um, that you could run circles around this other person. Um, don't, don't think with anger. Think with cool logic. Be the king of swords. Um, again, like they're saying, if you embrace this mental, um, this very incisive and inspiring spirit, is even saying, aspect of yourself, this mental, like, acuity that you have, you can have what you want. This is the card of wishes coming true. I mean, look at this guy. He's like chubby and happy with like more than enough. He's got these nine cups full of honey and he's got the high of working at his feet. He's got these bees buzzing happily around producing more and more honey. And like it's in the nature of these bees. They're doing the work for him, but that is what they're here to do. So it's like put your natural talents to work, Gemini. Put your natural, and it's not just your natural talents, it's also like what makes you feel good? What makes you feel really fulfilled? Do more of that. The more you do of it, the more you will produce because the more you'll be excited by the results that you get. And it's going to be kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy, like a like a perpetual motion machine of good stuff. Like just make your wishes come true. Take those little steps to make them come true. Um, there's so much hope here. Like, there's so much good, 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 good stuff waiting for you. You just need to put in the work. Like, this is the star. This is like, you're being led. Follow your destiny. Follow, like, this is, okay, like, <sighs> Spirit is saying that for a lot of you, there is a dream that you've had for such a long time, like, even since childhood, that you want to pursue and that you want to make yours. And you have magic in you, Gemini. You have so much to give. Like, you give and you shall receive. And that is so, like, I know, I know that is an overused phrase and it's a cliche and it's December, it's the holidays. It's like even more, you're going to be hearing that. But, but it's true. Like for some of you, this is like, okay, you have like, um, in your work or in your business, like give value if you want to receive value in return. If like, um, wow, like Spirit is saying, if you want to pitch your services or raise your prices or make the amount of money that you want, then give out the quality of work that you want to summon that into your life. That doesn't mean work yourself to the bone for your minimum wage job. That means if a job isn't giving you what you want, then it's time to invest elsewhere and pursue hope and invest in yourself. Invest in your dreams, invest in your hopes, because that is what is, again, going to fill you with energy and the will and, and, the, and the creative power 
the love in your heart that really when you pour that love and that real devotion into something that you really want to want to happen that's when magic happens um so look at it and think about it gemini um you're going to be do definitely doing some of that like okay so i'm looking at the harvest <sighs> do i like how much i've i've managed to grow and yield from this or am I kind of like, wow, like all that hard work and this is what I have? So it's time to change your habits. Wow, Spirit came in like very hard with that, uh, Gemini. Like that some of you really need new habits, new rituals, new disciplines, new like, okay, if this is what I want to build, be an architect. Like if this is what I want to build, here's the plan to, to build this thing. Whether this is, again, like a job, a manuscript, a comic book, a, a piece of music that you want to like compose, a piece of clothing that you want to make, like make the plan and follow the plan. And then, and then you're going to yield something gorgeous. Be the architect. And okay, so as I alluded to in the beginning and, and Spirit talking about be the king of swords and be a little bit ruthless, be a little bit brutal in your, in your decision making in the sense of like, um, don't look back. That is what the phrase that Spirit used very clearly. Don't look back. Something is coming to an end in December, and it's like, leave it behind. It's been like a bit of a long, painful chapter in some sense. So this is something that has been like giving you guilt, giving you pain. This could be a person or a relationship that is just like, wow, I have tried every which way to get through to this person or to heal this rift or to like build a bridge and it's just not happening. And it may also be, okay, so these are general readings, Gemini. This is for everyone of, of sun, moon, and Gemini rising. So I would love to be more specific. And if you want something more specific, you can definitely book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me and my shop is linked below if you would like to do that. Um, so as specific as I would like to be, um, what Spirit is saying is that some of you have been betrayed some of you have been like stabbed in the back. Some of you feel like you worked really hard and somebody just turned around and said like, I don't give a damn and I'm leaving you here. And you just feel so devastated. Like there's, I, I don't want to sugarcoat because this card is very real pain. Um, mental anguish, uh, something coming to an end. And, and that's painful. But having said that, the really important aspect of this card is that the figure is A, very much alive. Um, so this didn't kill them. They're also walking toward new peaks, a new mountain as the sun's coming up. So a new sun is going to rise on the end of this, this ending. And tarot's not fatalistic, of course, Gemini, so everything is within your free will. You can decide to stick around and beat a dead horse some more if you want to, but Spirit is definitely saying that by lifting your, by lightening your load, um, by letting go of things that are not working for you, and wow, Spirit, again, these are general readings, Gemini, but Spirit is saying that for some of you, something has been taken from you or is being taken from you. And they're kind of saying, let it go. And like, wow, like even as I say that, like I'm having this like internal conversation with spirit where I'm like, are you serious? You're serious. You want me to say, hey, if somebody steals your like property or if somebody steals your words or, or steals your fucking thunder, whatever this is that somebody's taking from you to let it go. But that is what they're saying. They're saying have grace and have patience and that it's they're that person who did that they're not going to get the returns that you are a um because a duplicate is never as is never as valuable as an original and you're an original so the reason that they're saying let it go is not just so that you're not dealing with more mental anguish from this person kind of like leaving your life and you feeling a little bit robbed um of something and i feel like because this is swords, it's like something mental. Like it could be you feel like someone took your idea, someone took your design, someone took your copy. If you're like a copywriter or a, you know, web designer. Um, 
Spirit is saying have grace about it because it's not going to come to much for them and it will come to more for you. So let it go and move on. Take the partial success, drop the swords that you can't carry anymore, drop any guilt or regret or worry and look ahead. Don't drive looking in the rear view mirror, looking at these swords that you've left behind. Look forward because um, if you don't, you're liable to get bitten by something that you don't see. So keep your eyes on the prize, keep your eyes ahead, know that you're moving toward a new day and keep your eyes open for it. <sighs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Sorry, Gemini. Um, and so here's the other thing, Gemini. You are like a quicksilver, fast thinker, fast talker, like you want to take action. If you have an idea, you want to execute right now, 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 now. You, you want to talk about it, you want to read about it, you want to think about it, and then you want to do it, do it, do it. Like you're a fast mover, you're an air sign. But <laughs> you need to do some sitting back, some receiving, and some silence in December. Like, you're a talker, Gemini. I mean, that's what you're famous for. You're the twins. Like, you can have a great conversation all in your own head with dialogue, like, not monologue. <laughs> and that's really the only kind of conversation you need to be having for a little while. Like, you need to make some time for completely internal discussion, like, and receiving intuition, receiving, like, listening to your gut, listening to your higher self, like, if that there is something that you want to achieve or have in your life, like, it's time to go to that place, and, and you could do it through a literal meditation if that is your bag, and if that is not your bag, um, it's like you could journal it or you could do it in your head, but basically what I want you to do is go to your future, your ideal future, and talk to that self. Like what does your best self get up and do every day? What kind of habits does your best self have? What kind of routines and rituals do they follow? What got them to the top? Um, and sit back and wait for that information to arrive, Gemini, because if you, it's like sharpen the saw. Like, sure, you could take your dull machete um, and just start slashing at, like, branches in the jungle trying to get through, but you're going to spend a lot more time hacking if you don't take five minutes and sharpen the machete before you walk into the jungle. So wait and receive the information that is going to be so vital um, when you do move forward. And when you do, it looks so powerful and so... Fortunate. This is the, haha, ha, I didn't even mean to do that. This is the wheel of fortune. This is like completion and graduation and moving forward with exciting positive change. So a lot of you spirit is saying right now, Gemini, a lot of you have been praying for a change. Like I am ready for this phase to be over. I'm ready for this chapter to close. I'm ready to lift to the top of the Ferris wheel and see where the hell I'm going. And a lot of you are going to be there. And the faster that you're willing to, it's funny, the faster that you're willing to sit back <laughs> and receive, the sooner you will actually have the action and the positivity and the moving forward, which sounds very ironic, but it's like, yes, some peace and stillness is going to get you to move forward. Um, a lot of you need a teacher, or you will be taking an online class, or you will be seeking someone's authority um, that is a little bit... Um, Okay, so the Hierophant used to be known as the Pope card, but really the Hierophant represents any sort of teacher which has a specialized knowledge that not all of us are walking around with, which could be anything from, yeah, the Pope, like a priest, um, a holy man or wo holy woman, a medicine woman, medicine man, a tarot reader, um, a minister, a teacher, a personal trainer, a scientist, someone who has knowledge that, again, not everybody is walking around having. And it's time for you to embrace getting taught. And again, Spirit is talking about adopting some more structure, adopting a little bit more of a, a traditional, scare quotes, a traditional approach, but only in the sense that it's like, okay, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this. Before I go to bed, I do this. I plan my day. I have this that I have to do when I get out of work or school in order to, to create that life that my best self said, okay, these are the habits that you need to have and execute in order to get where I am today. So 
listen to teachers that come into your life and that is what spirit is saying is that for many of you it's like whether you seek them out or not teachers are around you in december that are going to be giving you messages that uh contribute to that better structure and discipline in your life and like wow wow i love that on the heels of that it's like with that structure and discipline you don't think it's going to be fun but the truth is oh my god like it's going to light up your life this is the sun like the lights turned on after you felt like you were in the dark. Like everything becomes clear. The path to that bright future becomes so clear to you in December, Gemini. Again, if you're willing to listen to your gut, if you're willing to let go of what's not working or what isn't serving you or little petty disagreements and, and thieveries that happen to you, there's so much more and better ahead for you and things are gonna become so much clearer in December. Just give yourself that room. Give yourself that mental space to receive from your highest self and from your intuition. Um, okay, so that is your overview for December, and now we are going to do your fiercely focused reading. And I'm going to clear these just so that you can see everything nice and clearly. Okay. All right, so what I have here is a second deck of cards. And I've got it separated into the suits of the tarot. So I'll be pulling one major arcana card right now to represent the focus overall of your month in December. What you most need to be aware of or invoke or embody in December. Huh. How beautiful is that, Gemini? The Empress. You're going to be ready to receive. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at your mental realm, things you're going to be thinking about or talking about or executing on a thoughtful level, okay, sending a message. Okay, now let's look at your job, your money, your career, as well as your physical body, what's going on in the earthly realm for you in December. Woo! I like that, Gemini. That is good stuff. Okay, now we pull a card for your emotional climate in December, or what you can expect to feel. Okay. And finally, your creative and spiritual experiences, the really exciting stuff that sets you on fire. Wow! Okay! <laughs> this is the kind of reading I like to give, Gemini. Like, I am always very, I always give you the truth, absolutely, but of course it makes me happier to deliver the good messages. Okay, so the central focus for you in December, um, your fierce focus for December is abundance, Gemini, is receiving, and the Empress is Venus. The Empress is everything that is beautiful and rich and lovely and enjoyable, like good food and beautiful Egyptian cotton sheets on your skin and silk and good friends and good times and good drinks. So it's parties in December for you and it's abundance and receiving. So of course, yeah, it's the holidays. Some of you will be getting like some lovely gifts. So definitely expect that. But I um, feel like some of you are also expecting. So again, these are general readings. Don't freak out if it's not something that you have planned. But I feel like some of you will be getting an additional holiday gift. <laughs> something, um, I mean, the Empress is pregnancy. The Empress is fertility. So yes, for some of you, don't worry. This is a brainchild. But for others of you, there really is a conception or a birth at hand. And Spirit is saying congratulations. And like wow they're like <laughs> it's so funny like um it's like a big pink neon heart in my mind's eye right now that they're sending you um and what do you need to do to think about to speak about in december gemini um i don't think i need to uh worry about you being boldly honest and speaking your mind um some of you are a little timid though. 
and some of you don't want to be brutally honest and that's with yourself and with others and spirit is saying if you want to move forward that's what it's going to take it's going to take getting really boldly up front with yourself and with others and spreading your message like you guys need to be writing you need to be creating your content some of you are bloggers or writers or freelancers um, or that is your job your career words speaking writing um, discussing debating you're going to be sending a strong message in December and it is right for you to take that message far and wide you have something that you're incredibly passionate about and that you feel you must cut through and share and that is what you are meant to do and that's going to bring you that's going to bring you that abundance that's going to I'm, as i say that that's going to bring you abundance spirit brings me right over here to the king of pentacles what do you need to do or or invoke when it comes to your money your material goods your job you need to capitalize on what you have and you need to like enjoy and count your blessings gemini and you can have so much more there is security and money for you in December. And Spirit was talking about a new opportunity for some of you. So for some of you, it's like a boss, like you're becoming a boss or you're getting promoted or you feel more like a boss, like the thing that you're doing on the side starts going really well and even has the potential to bring you like long-term security. But you need to run your, your monetary life. That's the thing. You need to be the king and whatever your station, whether you're poor, rich, middle class, whatever you are, it's time to be the CEO of your life and really run your budget like a boss. Like it's time to be the CEO and if something looks a little bloated in your budget, like wow, you spent $400 on you know takeout last month. Imagine what that would look like in, in a few months in you know, a Roth IRA or what have you. Haha. <laughs> um, let me just say right now that, that I'm not the person you want to take financial advice from. So, like, not take any of that to heart. But for some of you, Spirit is talking about that. Um, but point being, you need to get very, uh, well, again, Spirit is saying tr strategic. But this is the King of, of Pentacles is a different kind of cunning. He's resourceful. So be resourceful. Use what you have. Parlay it into more. And really be, be your own boss whatever to whatever extent that you can. Um, your creativity is soaring and as well and your creativity and spirituality are one and the same and it's that, that there's a wonderful sense of support and community and arrival like welcoming like happy homecoming like people raising their glasses to you and being excited to see you so you're having I feel like you're having really wonderful reception in December and it's funny spirit spirit is saying like yes for some of you that's a wedding reception so congratulations to those of you Gemini's that are getting married or engaged in December you can definitely expect some of that and as I said that wow um, again these are general readings so that will not resonate with all of you but some of you are definitely getting engaged bec because we have this two of cups over here and for some of you it's not engaged or married it's like wow I met someone really exciting and new like it's, it's my anniversary, or I met someone really exciting and new, and I, I can't wait to see what we can share and what we can have together. And there's this wonderful sense of like friendship and camaraderie as well as romance and chemistry. And even for those of you who are not falling in love or, or having an anniversary, having a marriage, um, there's going to be a budding partnership could be creative, could be business, could be love, but it is going to bring more abundance into your life. So be honest, be resourceful, enjoy your community and share your love with them. <laughs> and beautiful things are coming into your life. I love it, Gemini. Um, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this and share it with people that you love if you feel that they will enjoy it. It's really been a pleasure and also I hope that you will check out, um, I'll be doing your 2017 full year tarot reading this month as well. So again, you might want to subscribe if you want to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> thank you, Gemini, and I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for tuning in to your Terrascope. I really appreciate it, and I hope that it serves you and guides you very well through the rest of the month. 
and I just wanted to give you a little holiday hello from somebody special. This is Derpy, and she makes a lot of funky appearances on social media and stuff, so say hi, Derpy, and say, Happy Holidays! I don't think she's going to say it. She only says it when the camera's off, kind of like Michigan J. Frog. But thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful December, and I hope to see you next month. Bye-bye!